So I've lost about, what is it now? Let's say 50, 60. I've lost about 70 pounds from my heaviest. Now, I was my heaviest decades ago. So I've lost a ton of weight. And I'll tell you what I did to lose that weight. It's very simple. It's not about exercise, by the way. Although you should exercise because that's just good for your health. But um, no, to lose weight is about uh, what you eat and how you eat. So what you eat, you want to eat natural foods, no processed foods. That includes no breads, no pastas, uh, no pastries. You want to avoid all sugars, no soft drinks, no juices, very little fruit. Uh, you want to eat uh, natural foods, uh, you know, vegetables, lots of fatty meat, that sort of thing. Uh, check with your doctor, if, you know, if anything, before you do anything. I have to say that for liability purposes. I, know, I don't know your personal situation. But yeah, for me, I feel so much better when I don't have breads and pastas and uh, noodles and sugar and all that. Cut out all that out. Now... You're probably, if you're eating this stuff, you're probably physiologically and psychologically addicted to these things. That's why you get the hanger pains, you get the hangries, uh, you get the headaches, you get the dizziness if you stop eating these things. It's not starvation, it's just, that's cold turkey. That's like a, a drug addict coming off the drugs. So you have to wean yourself off of these foods, but that's very important. The other very thing that works like wonders is the eating window. Intermittent fasting, very popular these days, works like a charm. There's a reason why all the major religions in the world talk about fasting. All the major religions figured out, you know, all these people figured out thousands of years ago that fasting is actually very good for you. Now, you think about ancient humans, you know. Uh, agriculture is a very recent innovation. Bread and uh, cultivating vegetables and stuff like that. That's very recent. That is something... It was done in the last five, 6,000 years. We'll say even 10,000 years. The human species has been around for, you know, as we are today, hundreds of thousands of years. And then we had our precursors. So in most of the, uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The genetic existence of our species, we've been hunter-gatherers. What do they eat? Meat, mostly meat, occasional uh, fruit on, in season. Uh, what else is there? I don't know, bugs. I guess that's meat. Um, maybe occasional mushroom or something. You know, bread and, 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 and the modern vegetables we eat, that's all very new. So from our species has evolved around the hunter-gatherer lifestyle. And they did quite fine. So that's how, I, you know, fasting and feasting is the way our body is built. That's why we have fat stores. Why do you think our body creates fat out of sugars and carbs, turns into fat, stores it in our bellies and everywhere, even my toes. I remember the first time I started losing a lot of weight, I get in the shower one day and I even noticed my, my toes were thinner to my amazement. I said, oh geez, there's fat in my toes. Anyway, our, our bodies are literally designed to store fat, to store energy as fat, you know, and then to burn it off when we need to. The problem is, in our modern culture, first of all, we eat all that crappy processed food, which our bodies are not designed to eat. And then we, uh, we never fast. We never give our bodies chances to go to all that saved energy in the form of fat and to use it. And that causes all kinds of problems. 80% or so of uh, illnesses these days are metabolic in nature, meaning by eating crap food and not exercising and not fasting. Um, so fast and just look up intermittent fasting. I'm not going to get into it here. There's tons of lessons. Basically, you have to give your body time to, uh, to rest uh, and not eat. And it's a minimum of eight hours of not eating. Even if you had one berry or one chip, you throw the whole system off. Your body has two basic settings. It has store energy, use energy from our body, our body uh, fat, which is our fridge. This is our fridge. So whenever you eat, the body shifts to store energy, well, shifts to store energy mode. And then after eight hours, eight hours, bing, it starts shifting into use energy stored on our body mode. The longer you wait, you don't eat, uh, the more energy it pulls from your body and, it's, and, and it accelerates. So you start off by like, uh, you know, fasting is, is, again, it's built into our DNA. 
that's why we, we call breakfast, it's break fast, break the fast. So the easy way, the easiest way to fast, you stop, stop eating at six o'clock and you don't eat the next day until like eight, nine o'clock. You want to uh, not eat for at least eight hours, uh, preferably 12 to 18 hours. You build up to that. Anyway, I've talked about that in other videos. I don't know. What was the point of this whole video to begin with? Yeah, losing weight. Yeah, how do you lose weight? You got to not eat the crappy food. You're going to feel better. Drink good water. Uh, fast. Look up fasting. Again, consult with your doctor. Uh, don't uh, make sure everything's cool. Uh, the shakes and the headaches you get, that's just you coming off of the physiological addiction, addiction to the carbs and the sugar. Whatever you do, stop drinking the Coke and the Pepsis and the fruit juices. That's all full sugar. It's like drinking pure sugar. That's poison. So if you want to avoid uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, heart problems, uh, all kinds of problems, tons of problems, you'd be surprised how many problems are related to uh, just what you consume. Um, yeah, so don't put the poisons into your body. Uh, don't get the type 2 diabetes. Lose the weight. Build the energy. Help with your thinking. Yeah, when I was uh, 50 pounds heavier, 60 pounds heavier, my cognitive capabilities were uh, negatively impacted. There's no question about that. Imagine how that was, right? So look at me now. Imagine how I would be, how I was when I had an extra 50, 60 pounds on me. It was not a good scene. It was not a good scene. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's about it. We'll talk soon.